everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today I am making my little dog Bella a black and white cross double crochet um, hoodie. So I've done the cross double crochet sweater, the plain one. This one we're going to make into a hoodie. And uh, we're going to start that in just a moment. Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a cross double crochet extra small hoodie. Now my darling little Bella has put on just a smidge of weight and so I normally make the extra small dog sweaters with a five millimeter crochet hook but today's crochet hook we're using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and That'll give it just the extra bit that she's put on, and we're not judging. We know, Bella, that it's been a tough year, so no one's judging. It's okay. You're in a safe place. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm going to do black and white, and so that'll also show you how to change colors within this pattern. And it's going to be a hoodie, so I'm just going to show you how to add a hoodie to the regular sweater. So you're gonna need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. That'll fit to about a five and a half pound dog. So Bella was four and a half pounds. I think she's put on maybe a pound, maybe a pound and a half. So I think she's just gotten a teeny bit bigger. I noticed her other sweaters are just getting a little bit tight. So that's why I'm going up a little bit with the hook. You're gonna need a pair of scissors, a darning needle, and a piece of cardboard. So let's get started. I'm going to start with, let's start with the white. So, I'll get that out of the way. I am going to cross my yarn. That's how I always start. I don't do a slip knot, I don't do anything else. This is how I was taught, so you cross your yarn. You put your tail over top, you put your yarn around, pull through, that's your first chain. So we're going to chain 40. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. We are going to go into that very first stitch without twisting. Oops. I want this on that side. Here we go. And then we're chaining up one. Now we are going to do 40 single crochets. Okay. So a single crochet, you go into the loop, pull your yarn through, yarn over, go through two. Okay. We're going to do that all the way around till we have 40 and staying with the same color, we're going to join and then we'll do our next round, which starts our pattern. Okay, so single crochets for 40 all the way around. Come back and we'll meet here. Okay, so I've done my 40. Now I'm going to slip stitch into that chain one. Okay slip stitch and I'm staying in color so I'm using the same color. We're going to chain up three, two, three. Now here's where our pattern starts. We're skipping that first stitch. We're doing a double crochet into the second one. Okay. Now we're going to do it. We're going to go back 
and go into that stitch we skipped. And see there you get your cross. So next one we're going to skip and we'll go into the next stitch, double crochet, and then we're going to go back. And that's where we get our cross, like a crisscross. Okay, skip one. And then go back. Okay. So we're going to do that all the way around. So see how we have this nice stitch here? So skip one. And then go back. So that's what we're getting. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. And it looks so cute on them. Okay, so skip one. And then go back. Okay, so do this all the way around. And then come back to me. We're going to join with our black because we're going to switch colors. And we'll keep going in pattern. So I'll show you how to change the color. Okay. So I did my round and um, to the side. Now that's our join from the previous round. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to take up my black. Now I know black is going to be hard for you guys to see. So I'll try and explain it as well as I can. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the top of that chain three that we used to start our other row. We are going to take our black and we're just going to pull it through. Okay. Now we're chaining up one. Before we go any further, I'm going to go to the back of my work and I'm going to tie this in a knot. And you can snip the white. I just realized I have no scissors around me, so I'll do that after. So now we're just going to do, just like we did that first row, we're going to do single crochets all the way around. Next row will be the cross, the double crochet cross, and then we're going to switch colors when we get to the end of that. We're going to do white. Now we're going to do this alternating these two pattern rows and then black and white until we have 12 rows total, okay? So... You always start with your single crochet row and then you do your cross row, okay? And we're going to do that for a total of 12 rows. So you do that and then I want you to meet back up with me, okay? And like I said, after each row, you can snip. Uh, the color you're not using. I didn't snip because I just don't have scissors handy. So single crochets all the way around and then you chain up your three. You're going to do your cross double crochet and then when you are at the end of your cross double crochet, you're going to change color. And we're doing this black and white. You can do it um, any colors you want, obviously. Or you can even just do it a solid color. But then you wouldn't be breaking your yarn. You would just keep going in the pattern. Okay. So for 12 rows. And then meet back with me. Great. Okay, so I'm on my 40th stitch. I oops, didn't cut my white from the last one. I found the worst scissors in the house. Yeah, you heard me. Worst scissors in the house. So, okay. I'm at my 40. I'm going into my chain three at the top and I'm going to do 
my um, join right there. Now I am going to only do half my stitches. So I am going to do 20 single crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm going to get rid of that black. We're done with black now until we're doing the hood. So, where was I? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. We're going to chain up three. One, two, three. We're going to turn our work and now we are going back and forth just on these 20 stitches and we're going to do that for six rows total. So we've done one and we've started two and we're staying in pattern. So now we're doing our double crochets and we are doing the crisscross and we're going to do that for 20 stitches. Um, we are going to continue and we're going to do this for six rows high just on the, these 20 stitches, okay? So stay in pattern, one row single crochet, one row the double cross crochet and yeah come back when you've done this for six rows and i'm not changing colors anymore if you decide you want to change colors that's up to you i am sticking with white now and then when i do the hood i'll alternate black and white again there we go so do that and then um Come back to me, because, uh, yeah, you don't want to watch me do it. But isn't that cute so far? It's just adorable. Okay, so six rows, come back. Okay, so I've done my six rows. So two, four, six. I am going to make this big. I'm going to cut myself a bit of a tail. I'm leaving four inches. My tail goes through my loop and I'm not pulling it tight. I'm pulling it just gently too, just so it doesn't unravel. Now we're going to start our leg holes, okay? So we are going to go back over here. We're gonna go, see where we've already started? Or no, we're not, we're gonna go the one just beyond that. Okay, we're gonna catch our yarn and we're gonna chain one, okay? Then we're gonna count out 20 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, oh, I didn't pull these, I didn't tie those. And here we 
primary go is 20. Twenty. Okay. Now to stay in pattern, we're chaining up three. One, two, three. Now we would do our cross double crochet, but we're gonna do a decrease instead. So this is how I decrease with a double crochet. I go yarn over into the stitch, pull up the yarn, yarn over, go through two. I have two loops on my hook. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, go through two. I have three loops on my hook. I'm going yarn over, I'm going through all three of those loops. So I've turned those two double crochets into one stitch, okay? Now we're going to continue in pattern. So we skip one, we do a double crochet, go back for the one we skipped. Okay, we're going to do this until we get to the other side. To the other side and there's two left, okay? So, if I'm counting, those two we did together counts as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, and we want to end up with 18 stitches. So we have two left. So what we're going to do, yarn over into the stitch, grab your yarn, pull through, yarn over, go through two loops. You have two remaining on your hook. Yarn over into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over through two loops. You have three loops remaining on your hook. Yarn over, go through those three loops and that turned it into one. So that was our 18th stitch. Now we're gonna chain up one. We are also going to decrease in this row. So we're gonna go yarn, or sorry, um, we're gonna go through the stitch, grab our yarn, through the next stitch, grab our yarn, Go through all three loops. That turned it into one. Okay, so one, two, this row we want to end up with 16. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now this, like I said, is our sixteenth row, right? So we're at fifteen. In the stitch, pull your yarn. Into the next stitch, pull your yarn. Go through all three th loops and that brought us to 16. So we're always decreasing by two stitches each row. We're gonna chain up three, three. We're gonna do these just like normal stitches. Double crochet though, so yarn over into the stitch, pull your yarn through, go through two. Yarn over into the stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, go through two. We've got three remaining on the hook. Yarn over, go through those three. That turned it into one stitch. Two stitches became one stitch. Now we're gonna continue in pattern. Skip one, go into the next. So that's two, three, four, five, Six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13. Now these two are gonna turn into one, right? So we're just doing them regular. We're not skipping. So there we go, yarn over into the stitch, pull through, go through two loops, yarn over, go through all three loops that turned it into. So we've done 20, 18, 16, 18, 16, chain up one. This is gonna be our 14 row. So, we are going to go in, grab our yarn, pull through. Go in the next stitch, grab our yarn, pull through. Yarn over, go through all three that turned it into one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Sorry, this is our 12 row, so in there, and in there, and then we got 12, right? So 20, 18, 16, 14, 12. So the next one is our 10 row. So we're gonna chain up three. One, two, three. Turn our work. We're gonna do these just like normal double crochets. We're not skipping. Okay, and then three stitches. We're turning those two stitches into one. Okay, so then we're gonna skip one and go into the next to keep our pattern, which is one, or so that's two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and this is our decrease, so we're just gonna do it like normal, we're not skipping. Yarn over into the stitch. Yarn through, yarn over through two loops. Yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over through two loops. Yarn over through all three loops to decrease it to one. So that's got 10. Now, we are going to attach this to our chain three on the other side. Okay. Okay, and then we are gonna go back to where I said don't pull it tight. We're gonna undo that, and we're gonna attach it to the chain three on this set. Okay. Then we're gonna put our tail through our loop, and now we're gonna pull that tight. So there, we've created an arm, and we've created an arm. Okay, so we just did our triple crochets. So we're gonna chain up one, and we are gonna do 30 single crochets around. Then we're gonna do our, we're gonna do 30 single crochets around, then we're gonna do our double crochets, we'll do 30, 
and we'll end off with our 30 single crochets and then we're gonna meet back here, okay? So staying in pattern, so 30 singles, then you'll do your cross double crochets for 30 and then you'll do your 30 single crochets and we'll meet back. Okay, I was just thinking about it, looking at this, and I don't just want you to stop at the single crochet row. I want you to do four rows. So that's a single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. Um, and then come and meet me back and we'll do the next steps to start the hood. Okay, sorry, it's just, Sometimes I have to look at things and I go, well, maybe not. So I really do these by eyeball. So <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. So, and by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning of this video, but I am using four ply worsted weight yarn and I'm using acrylic, but you can use um, any kind of yarn, like if you want to go cotton or wool or blend or whatever, as long as it's four ply worsted weight. Yeah. And if you haven't had a chance yet, make sure you hit the like and subscribe so that uh, you can see when I do other crochet tutorials. I. Uh, do quite a lot f of the dog ones because it's one of my most popular items in my Etsy store. There will be a link for my Etsy store um, below. I don't just do um, dog sweaters, but uh, yeah. So finish off by doing another row. Oops, did that wrong another row of the finish off on the double crochet row not on the single crochet row like I said okay okie dokie meet me back when you're done so that's the final row I'm on and then we'll start that hood and we're going to alternate between black and white again okay meet you back Okay, so I've done my four rows. I'm at the end here. Okay, so I'm gonna cut my yarn. I'm gonna pull it tight, okay? So now if you wanted to, you could stop here and just, you know, hide your threads and have quite a cute little dog sweater. See, I've done another one here. Now, see the difference just by going up a 0.5 of a hook. So I've got a bit more length and a bit more girth. See, I got a little bit more here. Just wanted you to see that. Anyway, so to do the hood, we're gonna go to the belly side and I consider the belly side where the armholes, where we did our decrease for our armholes, okay? So what we're gonna do is, we are going to find the middle. So I make sure that the arm holes are as good as they can be, and then I kind of go up from there, and then, so I'm gonna say this is about the middle. So I'm gonna go in there and grab my black yarn. Okay, so we are starting with the single crochet row and we already know that we have 30 stitches so we're going to do 30 stitches around but we're starting at the center of the belly well not the belly but the belly side okay so do 30 um single crochets around like i'm doing and if you don't get exactly 30, like this part is forgiving, it's the hood. If it's a bit smaller or whatever, that's okay. Main thing is you want it in multiples of two so we can stay with our pattern. Okay, so we are 
going to do a bit of a decrease over the first, um, well this is our foundation row and then in the next three rows after that we're going to do decrease just like we did with legs. So on each side. That'll taper the hood in a bit so that um, it's not touching. Gives the hood a little bit of form. Um, yeah. So we are not going to close this, right? Because we want, we're going to be going back and forth. So we're not joining. We're just going to, okay. So that should be 30. Now we are going to chain up three. One, two, three. Okay. And see, they're not joined. We are turning our work. Now, it's gonna be hard to see because it's black and I'm sorry about that, but I'm gonna talk you through it. Maybe if I go like this. Yarn over into that first stitch, grab your yarn, pull through. We're gonna go yarn over, go through those two loops. Yarn over, going into the next stitch, pull through. Yarn over, go through the first two loops. Yarn over, go through all three loops. That has decreased. That has turned two stitches into one. Now to keep with our pattern, we're skipping a stitch, we're doing a double crochet, and then we come back to get that double crochet or that stitch we missed, okay? And we're gonna do this around, and we're gonna wanna bring it down to 28 stitches, okay? So we're gonna be add an odd number while we're doing these. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 27, 27, 28, yeah, that's right, so this is our decrease, twice, <laughs> sorry, sorry, 27, now we're going to do these just normal, go into one, pull through, 28, and then next one, 29, I'm doing something wrong. Anyway, we go through and that gives us 28 because we turn the, t 
Let me count. Something's hinky with that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 29, and 30. But I don't want to end up with 30. Because we did 30. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay, yeah, no, we did it right. Okay, I'm just second guessing myself. Don't listen to me. Well, listen to me, but don't listen to me. So 28, that's right. Then we go up one. Let's return. We're going to decrease. So this will be our 26th row. Into the, then you bring them together. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, dang it. <laughs> okay. So, dear goodness gracious. Okay, so we're back at our 28th stitch. I have three loops on my hook. And then I remembered I have to change color. So I'm going through with the white. Okay, chain up one. Now we're gonna do that decrease, which is in through one, pull a yarn through, in through the next, pull a yarn through, go through those, and that equals one stitch. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, and this is our twenty six row. Seven, eight, nine, ten, geez, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and then I do this one, and I do this one, and that makes 26. Chain up three. Oops, we can tie these ones off. Worst scissors in the house. Okay, so we'll tie those off. Get them out of our way. Okay, so chain up three. One, two, three, turn your work. We are doing another decrease, so we're doing it at the beginning. So we're gonna go through two, go into the next stitch, through two, go through all three, so that's one. Now we're gonna stay in pattern, so we skip one, two, Three, this will be our 24 row. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. This is where I got messed up last time. We're doing these as normal. And 24, but we're not going through those three loops. This is where we change our color. Okay. 24, chain one. Okay. Now, that's it for decreasing on the hood. So, we started with black for the hood, okay? We want to do 12 rows. So, each color counts as two rows. So, two, four, we want to do 12. So, do 12 staying in pattern. We're not doing any more decreases. That was it. And meet me back when you've done your 12 rows. Okay, great. Okay, so I have done my 12 rows. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. I am going to leave quite a long white tail, okay? I am going to pull it through my loop and pull tight. Now we're going to turn this inside out, okay? So all of our horrible little threads we're going to have to hide, but I want to show you how to sew up this seam. And then after that, um, you can just go hide your threads and add a pom-pom or a tassel. I prefer tassels. I'm going to do a tassel for this one. Um, then you're done. But here, I'm going to show you how to sew up the seam. So we're just going through the stitches, okay? And I always go through my first stitch twice because wear and tear and then just like you're crocheting I hope you can see this my hands aren't in the way we're going through both okay so you're going through the stitches like you would if you're crocheting but you're going through both okay and again And again, um, some people do it differently. Uh, there is a technique that you can catch the two ends or something so it looks like the top is crocheted. I don't know that I've ever figured out how to do that properly. But I'm sure you can find a video on it. I don't have a video on it because I don't do it. Okay. So we're going all the way to the corner here, right? Okay, so when we get here, I'm going to go through it twice. And then my last go through, I'm going to catch my loop. I'm going to go through it twice, same direction. I'm going to pull tight. I am not cutting this. I am not weaving this in. I am leaving this so when I do my tassel or my pom-pom, I can knot it to this and then I hide my threads. But see, there's our seam. Looks good to me. Okay, so now I want you to go hide your threads, all those bazillion threads. Do not cut this long piece that we used for sewing but do all the others and then come back and meet me
Okay, so I have hidden all my threads. Oh my gosh, there was like a bazillion, bazillion threads. So now we want to turn it back inside in. Okay, and I'm going to do a tassel. You can do a pom-pom if you want. I just like tassels for my hoodies. So this is what we're at so far. Okay, our little arms and our little hat. So I left my um, thread from the corner there. I just realized I came in here and I don't have my cardboard. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab my cardboard and we'll do this. Okay, I'm back, I have my cardboard. So as you can see, it's just an old uh, box that I had. This was for bags of some sort. So I cut it, uh, I think it's like three and a half inches by three and a half inches. I don't know the exact. Trying to grab my tape measure. Oh, I just made a big old mess. Okay. So it is three and a half. Yeah, by three and a half ish. It's been used a lot. So here's what I'm going to do I'm going to take my two colors and I am going to wrap them around my cardboard. 20 times, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, I'm going to snip. Okay. I am going to take the white. I'm going to reach through with my crochet hook, bring the white through. I'm going to make a knot up on top, okay? I hope you can see this. Okay, so I'm making a knot on top as tight as I can, okay? I'm gonna cut my white. I'm gonna go back around, okay, both ways, okay? And I'm once again gonna pull that just as tight as I can. Okay, and then I'm gonna do another, another knot. Okay, tight as I can without breaking the yarn, which I have done before. And now I'm doing a double knot there. Okay, these are separate. Now I'm gonna go to the bottom of my cardboard. And I'm gonna cut all those threads. Okay. The reason we use the cardboard is now all the threads are approximately the same length. Okay. So now I'm going to take some more white. Just another length of white. And here's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to move that out of the way, that out of the way, that out of the way. This way. Actually, I don't need it. I'm going to lay my white down on my table. I'm going to put my tassel on top of the white and take my white and I'm going to tie it tight like this. Okay. And I'm going to go to the other side and do another knot and tie it tight. Okay. Now I'm going to double knot this side. Okay, see that? 
and then the the lengths I'm gonna put down with the rest of the tassel and now I'm gonna pull it tight like this and I'm gonna trim it up so like you would see a person who's cutting hair I'm just gonna tidy that up hope you can see what I'm doing it up. Okay, now I'm gonna put my cardboard away, clean up my little mess here. Okay, now using my crochet hook, I'm gonna reach through the very corner or the, well yeah, the very corner of my um, hoodie. I'm gonna pull those two through. Oh, I missed one. You come here. Okay. Pull it through. Okay. So, just to double check. See? It's there. Okay. So now, that thread that we left, we're going to use that and we're going to tie these all tight. Okay, see what I'm doing? I'm tying it tight, double knot. Then I'm going to divide them, put a couple more knots. Divide it once more, a couple more knots. Okay, now I'm going to take all those and I'm just going to snip them close, just like that. And then on this side, we have a cute little tassel. And that is how you make a tassel. That is how you make this sweater. So we're going to pause. I'm going to go get my lovely, lovely puppy and see what she thinks of it. So hang on. Be right back. Okay, so everyone, this is Bella. Look up at the camera, sweetie. Good girl. Okay. So here's how I put my sweaters on my little girl. I put them over her head. I'm guiding her head with my hand until... There, see, there she is. Now we're gonna get all this off and we're gonna put your little arm through. Good girl. And then we're gonna do the same over here. Oops, sweetie, thank you. And her collar has caught there and then we put it like that. That fits you so much better going up on crochet hook size. So you sit, sit. Good girl. Look up at the camera, over here. Good girl. Oh, you're shaking. You're so sweet. And this is her new little sweater. Sit, sit, sit. <laughs> there you go. What do you think of that, Bella? Is that pretty? See? So nice and pretty. So if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe. And if you want notifications of whenever I do some other videos, hit the little bell. Talk to you later. You're so precious. You look so precious in there. You too. Okay, have a good day. Bye now.